What's up guys, this is James First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Last time, we did a few preparations around the Jilda region, and got here to Route 27, which is also the first route we're exploring in Kanto. So, pretty cool if I say so myself. So today, we're going to be exploring more of it. There are quite a few things to actually do here. Tojo Falls, the link between Kanto and Johto. Uh, we will go into that since that's actually required to go to to continue the story. But there's also some stuff here to do south of here. And do I have peasant with me? Yes, I do. Awesome. All right. All righty. Since there are quite a few stuff we have to do regarding waterfall, whirlpool, surf, and whatnot. Oh, okay. There was already a. So, and it wore off. How lovely. Alright. I hope we have enough for the rest of this journey. If not, then I could just fly back. Or, no, I actually can't fly back. Crap. Okay. Well, good thing I came here. It's a rare candy. And back to the Tojo Fall entrance. Not that bit of a walk or surprise to myself. Tojo Falls. Uh, here has no new Pokemon, but as we're exploring this place, there are two new Pokemon in Route 26. One is Ponyta. I believe we already went over, or we didn't win over, we just, oh wait, no, it was the other one, my bad. Uh, Ponyta. It should evolve soon since it evolves at level 40. Yeah, pretty late level. But it's a fast physical attacker and has good special attacks. Uh, originally, Ponyta was going to have a pre-evolution called Poochie-kun, which just looks like Ponyta, but smaller. Like, yeah, I can see why they scrapped it, since it looks exactly the same. Uh, Ponyta does get a regional form in uh, the Galar games, uh, Sword and Shield, later on, which actually look pretty cool. But yeah, uh, did I say it's faded name? It's Poochie-kun, in case you were wondering. Alright, let's go in here, and I believe this lady... Who are you up to with your Pokémon? Pokémon Lee? Are your Pokémon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. Ah, your Pokémon trust you very much. It's nice to see a good trainer. Here, a gift for your journey. We received Team 37! I don't know which one this one is. Sandstorm, okay, it's move that inflicts damage on both battlers. It's for advanced trainers only. Use it if you dare. Good luck. Uh, Sandstorm? Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna use this move. Let me see who could actually learn it. If... Because if Stacy can learn it, that could be interesting since she is part ground type. Well, she can learn it and Pelarota can learn it. Uh, what moves does Stacy have right now? I know she has Surf and, uh... Surf Amnesia, Slam, and Earthquake. This could work with Pelorota, too. I think Pelorota actually needs another move. No, I, I want to stop learning Sandstorm. Okay, let's try this again. Let me see what Pelorota has. Oh, Peasant can learn it actually too. I want to see what Pelorota has before making this judgment, because we might be here. No, I didn't mean- Ah, shit. Uh, I can't reset it, but I haven't been using that about that long. I was just... Eh, you know what, why not? We'll use Sandstorm. I hardly ever use Sandstorm, uh, in my free time anyway. It's weird to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? Yeah. I know we haven't used, we've been using Headbutt, and I don't think we'll be able to... We're not gonna use it for anything else coming up, so... Uh, it sucks we have to get rid of Headbutt since that's a field move, but... Eh, it's fine, I guess. Oh, you're really strong. I quite am. She had the whole Bulbasaur language, which is actually pretty interesting. 
It reminds me of that one trainer from the the Sinnoh or the the Sinnoh Adventures anime where uh, he wanted the uh, whole line for every electric type Pokemon. I think he had a Magnemite, a Magneton, and a Pichu and Raichu, but needed a Pikachu. I think it was like one of the many episodes where Pikachu debates on the Baldi. Ooh, you're good, aren't you? Uh, I don't mean to brag, but yeah, cool trainer. You even look like cool trainer, cool trainer Brian. Did I please do Brian? Oh, hey, hey, he said just as I thought. That means he has accepted me. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to go into this trainer. Don't say anything. Let me guess what you're thinking. Mm, I got it. You're on to the Pokemon League Challenge. Why, yes, I am, good psychic. I thought that said Hilbert for a second, no, Gilbert. Attack. We could use another dark move. Uh, I'm not gonna use Growl at all. Finally, a Reaper learned something. Faint Attack. Uh, I believe that has a chance of also making the opponent flinch or too much. Yes, I'm too much for your mental capacity. Uh, let me see, where is Reaper? Over oh, right here. Oh, we can't actually look at moves now. I know Faint Attack does quite a bit, and I believe it also makes the target flinch. Yes, yeah, so, like I said, look at that defense, and special defense, yeah. Umbreon definitely specials in uh, defense, and why I love it so much. I also love the aesthetic of it, of dark type Pokemon. Alright, let's avoid these trainers, because I keep accidentally going into them, and I'll go into the, the rest off screen when we need to train for the Elite Four. Uh, there is one other Pokemon on Route 27, right? I think we're still on Route 27, but... Hey, wait, I couldn't be, since there's no new Pokemon in Tojo Falls. Uh, the last new Pokemon is actually... Doduo and Dodrio. They're a bit frail, but what is TM22? I keep getting sidetracked, damn it. Alright. Solar Beam. First turn, prepare. Second turn, attack. This is a Grass-type move. Uh, if you have Sunny Day out in the field, during battle, you only need one turn to use Solar Beam. Which is pretty cool if I say so myself. It's a pretty... beast of a Grass-type move. But yeah, oh, now we're at Route 26. Okay, so Route 27. It has Doduo and Dodrio. They're a bit frail, uh, defensive-wise, but they are fast, and they pre hit pretty hard, honestly. I know it's kind of weird, or most people will be like, what? Why are you using that line? But they're pretty good, if I say so myself. Just try it out. Uh, they also were originally going to have a pre evolution, which I think I have a funny theory based on how this would work. Uh, it's called Hina Zoo. Uh, when I was uh, looking up, I'm like, wait, what? This thing looks so cool. It's like so small, but like, you know how Doduo has two heads and Dodrio has three heads? Does that mean when they evolve, uh... No, I, <laughs> I was actually gonna say they eat one of the heads as they evolve, and then, they, and then the head grows back angry. That's the angry head. <laughs> I don't know, but, uh... My other theory that I just thought of now is that, uh... One of the heads goes dormant, and... And then it grows back into one of the three heads, because Dodrio's, uh, three heads represent uh, anger, sadness, and happiness. I think those are the three that they represent. I forgot which one specifically since each head has a different type of emotion. I know it's those three specific emotions, but yeah, I did not mean to go back there. Oh, there was probably an item there. Yeah, it's alright. If I could stop running into wild Pokemon. I know I have repels, but I'm trying to save them up. <laughs> Since I don't think we can fly back here, I'll have to walk all the way back there, which I probably will just to be 
Alright, since we're pretty much done with everything regarding Pheasant. Uh, I think I remember this trainer actually up. Uh, actually, let me heal up first, because this place is a healing spot. Why, thank you, ma'am. You're so awesome. Oh, and encouragement words. That's what every man needs and every person on Earth. Alright, let me switch. Maki, we're gonna switch with... Ooh, what is she gonna smell first? Because I know specifically this trainer's, uh... Team, funnily enough. Uh, let's give Stacy some time to shine. Actually, Stacy, I haven't really done... I haven't done that in a, quite a while. Since you come this far, you must be good. I'm going to give this battle everything I got. I haven't said Stacy like that in a quite a long time, I've realized that, so I have to do it every now and then. Joyce, does she have a Pikachu? Yes, she does. Okay. I know what her earn up Pokemon is. I know this is like... Kind of weird to know, but it's like I said, I spent hours on Cerebi.net just looking at teams on every row, every generation. When I didn't have some of these certain games, because uh, they always interest me from watching Let's Plays, and then I go into Cerebi.net to look at them. She also has a Blast Toys. Hey, Katsuki is level 26. Nice. She sh she's almost caught up with the rest of the team. Yeah, she has a Blast Toys. Yeah, I specifically remember this character, this trainer, for having a Blastoise in a... She's a Surf, I mean, in a Pikachu. I don't know why I remember her specifically, but hey, it's there, I guess. And wow, that did a lot, Jesus. How much is Surf going to do? Ah, it almost one-shotted it, damn it. I think Blast is gonna knock out Stacy. No, Stacy, don't! No. Uh, okay. You did your best, Stacy. Go for it, Pelarota! Use, we're not gonna use Sandstorm. I should've actually got rid of Growl if I was gonna do that, damn it. That's fine. Uh, oh no. Oh, okay, that was fine. <laughs> No, I don't believe this. What, that you lost or that I... creepily know your team? My memory. <laughs> healed up with the nice lady. Or, healed up because of the nice lady. And we'll continue onward, I believe. Or right, do we end up Route 27? Or we have a few trainers up. I know I skipped two, and probably three, actually. What do we have? Oh, yeah, I need a... He's a repel. Uh, nothing here, really. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you can encounter them on these on Kanto routes, but I believe Entei and Raiko are not available on Kanto. If they are, then that's my fault, and we'll probably go into them. I'll try to get uh, Entei off, off screen so we could actually catch those two. But I don't think you can catch them in there or encounter them in the Kanto route, so it'd be cool if you did. Actually, let me see. I just realized we've seen 153. There's like 250 of them. Okay, let's see right there. Ah, no, only in jail, so yeah, that's what I figured as much. Yeah, I have to try my best to catch there, or get into or Yeah. Because that's gonna be a pain. Like I was hoping to find them just regularly, but you know, I was able to get Raikou, but Entei not so much. Ugh, it's gonna be a doozy to get them too. But a uh, trainer. Okay, I lost to a trainer named Silver. He was really strong, but it was as if he absolutely had to win at any cost. I feel sorry for his Pokemon. Pokemon aren't tools of war. Pokemon are invaluable. Lifelong partners. It's been a while since I lost. You're very good at battling. We should battle again sometime. I haven't been talking to people to get their numbers. I don't know. Uh... 
Wait, really? There's a phone? There's a limit to how many numbers you can have on the phone? Really? Okay, this wasn't a thing in the remakes. I don't use the phone option, or the phone thing that much in either the original or the remakes, but there's a memory regarding the phone? I didn't know about that. Yeah, I don't know all these people could be good, I guess. Chad, I'm not... Uh, I don't know, I kind of like that. You know what, let's get rid of Ralph. Why not? Sorry, Ralph. That Fisher who, who could get you, or... Get a cool fish in the field. If you want a phone number back, you could always just go back here, but... I didn't think there would be a memory option for the phone. Okay, so we have Beth with us. Not the Beth from Total Drama, but hey. Uh, who do I have in front? Stacy, correct. Yes, I do. Uh, let's switch to Pelerota. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Jono. Please, go right on through. Off to the Pokemon League, are you? Elite Four are strong. It's scary, and they're ready for you. They sense my arrival. They truly are the masters. This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary, strong Pokemon out there. Our only option is to go to the Pokemon League. Victory Road. Next time let's play Pokemon Crystal, we're going to be going through Victory Road, alright? I'll see you guys then.